again everyone this is Randy your sewing machine man and today we're honored to have a slice of American history uh, singer sewing machine history and some uh, Great Britain history this actually came out of Kilboe in Scotland the 206 K very first singer zigzag machine that was introduced in the United States these were produced, I believe, starting in 1936 and ran through 1953. This is a 1953. It was serialized on December 9th, 1953. They called that the born on date. December 9th, 1953. So this one was uh, put the serial number on it, the EJ. And uh, it is just an honor to work on one of these. These are so awesome. You know, these came in uh, cast iron and they went to a... Uh, lighter alloy and uh, this one's one of the cast iron 306 came shortly thereafter uh, 206 went to the 306 now what's unique about this one is it takes the uh, unique needle known as the 206 x13 instead of a 15 class this is a 13 class 206 x13 it takes a specific needle and it's a little shorter so it, so it would uh, you know zigzag and not hit the hook but it, uh, you can still get the needles. Now you can take these in to get them service, and they'll tell you, I do, you don't want this anymore, and you can throw it away. You can't get needles for it. And they were either told that and they believe it, or they know better and they're being uh, less than honest with you because you can still get needles for them. 20613. And a lot of people ask me, why would you worry about sharpening a needle? I show in one of my videos how to sharpen a needle, you know, take it and reservice it. It's got a little burr on the end. Why don't you just throw it away? Because with a 20613, you may be down to your last one and you don't just run down to Joanne's get them. You have to order them. You can get them online. But uh, Schmitz sells them. Singer sells them. 206X13. That's what this has in it. It's a zigzag machine. It'll do a straight stitch and a zigzag. And it's very smooth. You can probably hear it over the sound of my air conditioner running here in Texas on this 90 degree day. But it's just as quiet and smooth and precision as it can be. Just Here's your zigzag over here. If you look at this, you'll notice it's very similar to the early Fofs because they had the same setup. I don't know if Singer uh, bought it from them, offered them money, was declined, and just stole it. You know, Singer did all sorts of nefarious things back in the day, and they always just said, "Well, we'll just we'll just pay the fine or whatever," because they had so much money. They had factories all over the world. They had a factory in uh, uh, let's see, the one uh, Kilboy Scott was where they made this one. They had the one in Bridgeport, USA. They made the 206W. They had the one in Prussia. You can tell I'm reading this off my notes over here. Uh, the 206W. Uh, Prussia so W and 206K, 206D. They had factories all over the world. Brazil, you name it. They would go in and of course like to do it now for cheap labor. And they'd set up their manufacturing. They'd make the nice machines. They'd still be good and it'd still be made to the standard and still be awesome like this one. So it has a three needle position. You always take your needle up whenever you do any changes so you don't bend the needle naturally. So you have the three needle position right center left. You have this to unlock. You can lock it down for straight stitch because you don't want to wander into a zigzag when you're straight stitching. So you just lock it into zero and you lock it into zero and you're going to do a straight stitch and away you go. So I can find the button down here. There's the button. zigzags it'd be like one of the first automatic shift cars or you know maybe you got the first convertible the first station wagon whatever this was just absolutely mind-blowing because for what, 100 years they've been straight stitching all of a sudden they got a zigzag the reverse was kind of cool when they got that everybody traded their machines and got their one that had the back stitch which we take for granted but this has the zigzag so very good. It's a nice machine. This one has been taken real good care of. This cost just a tremendous amount of money when it was bought new. And folks took care of them. Like this one, they kept the instruction book. Are you kidding me? The box of accessories. Are you kidding me? They replaced the wiring. The wiring's all new. This is just a gem. It's a masterpiece. The 206K. First zigzag ever in the United States. And I got the fun. Uh, rebuilding the tension, putting a new bob wandering on it, servicing the A to Z, and it's
it's just as good as the day it came out of the box. Awesome little machine. Singer 206K.